Hi, I'm April with Interactive Exercise by Many Weight Loss Clinics. And this is a quick workout to work our favorite body part, the abs. Okay, so let's lie back onto our back. And take your hands right behind your ears. Keep those elbows nice and wide, fingers just resting behind the ears. Soles of the feet on the floor, feet about hips distance apart. We're just going to come up into a crunch and bring it back down. I want you to exhale as you come up, inhale as you come down. Every time you come up, think of that navel point really deep and engaging. I like to think I have a heavy stack of books right on my belly button, and it's pulling or pushing me straight down to the mat. Exhale up, inhale down. Two more like that. Now let's take it up and hold it. So take it up and pulse. Just little tiny pulses. Every exhale pulling tighter for eight, seven, six, five, four more. Then we're going to go side to side right here. So go to the side and to the other side. Now this diagonal work will get those waistline muscles. Instead of thinking of the elbow coming across the body, Keep the elbow back and leave the shoulder. So it's opposite shoulder to opposite hip. Good. Four more. Three. Two. And let's hold it up to the side and little pulses. As you're pulsing, take that same side leg and cross it over. For four, three, two, and one. Bring it back down. So bring it up. Take that left hand and bring it right to your side. We're going to bring it through like you're trying to reach for the, the left foot. As you're doing this, focus on the left rib and the hip pulling together. So press. Press. The palms facing the ceiling and you're just reaching. This is one of the best workouts for those obliques or waistline muscles. Let's do four more on this side. Four, three, two, and one. Take that foot down, hands behind the ears, switch to the other leg. This time the right arm comes to the side with the palm facing up. We'll do that scooping here, so scoop. Think of the rib and the hip pressing together, reaching those fingers towards the foot. So about that heavy stack of books right on the navel, everything pulling down. Really press. Make sure you're exhaling as you press. Give me four more right here. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Now we're going to take the head down, reach your arms into a T, take both legs up into a tabletop position. From here, you're going to drop the knees to one side. Don't let them touch, and then pull them back up to the center. And then drop to the other side. Don't let them touch, and then bring it back up to the center. Now, as you're going through this torso twist, keep the opposite shoulder down. It's kind of rooting you down to the floor as the body weight's going to the other side. Just look straight up to the ceiling. And you're just going nice and slow, so don't worry about your tempo here. Again, this is another great waistline exercise. Also works into the back. And it's a nice stretch as well for the back. If you want more challenge here, if this is too easy, you want to increase that intensity, take those legs straight. When the legs are straight, it's going to be a longer lever. It means the body weight's farther away from the midline of the body. It's going to be harder for your abdominals to control. Think of that heavy stack of books. Really pull it in tight. Let's go two more, one on each side. And last one here. And bring it all the way up. Nice. Go ahead and bend the legs in. Grab behind the hamstrings, give a little bit of a pull, and roll yourself all the way up. We're going to go right into a plank from this position. Two 
So if you've never done a plank before, I want you to grab opposite elbows with opposite wrists. This give you, gives you the right position for the right positioning for the body. Interlace your fingers, press your forearms into the mat, walk your legs back, and lift your knees. Now this is what a plank looks like. This is not what a plank looks like. So I want you to really drop those hips down, pull those abdominals in, and melt the heart just a little bit like you're dropping into the shoulders. As you get stronger, you may hold this up to 30 seconds, maybe a minute. We're just going to hold it a few more seconds here. If this is too intense, drop your knees. This is a great modification. All right, let's all come down. And we're going to go into some back extensions. Now, you always want to think about equalizing the, the work in your body. So when you work the front of the body, you want to work the back of the body. So especially if we're going to work abs, we're going to work lower back. So these are some back extensions to work that lower back area. So you're going to look towards the mat, take the hands to the ears, pull those abdominals in tight, and lift up and down. So just nice and slow up and back down. You want to feel the work right here in the lower back. Only go as high as you can comfortably go. You don't want to feel any pain here. Just work the sensation. And we'll just do a few more. Let's try just four more. The last two. And release. Okay, back to those planks. You can do the same thing. Grab opposite elbow with opposite wrist. Set your position. Interlace your fingers. Press into your forearms. From here, you can lift right up to your knees. If you want a little, a little bit more intensity, lift up to your feet. If you want more intensity still, you can lift one leg for a few breaths, bring it back down, lift the other leg for a few breaths, bring it back down. So choose what works for you. Remember, no hips in the air, drop them down low, pull those abs in, melt through the heart a little bit, just a few more. Take a big breath in, and release. All right, one more set of back extensions here. So this time, hands behind the ears, elbows stay wide. We're going to go side to side. So just a little rotation to the side and back down. A little rotation to the side and back down. And you're only going as high up as you can feel work, but no pain. Should be comfortable through the low back. Four more. Last two. And one more to go. And bring it down. All right. We can do one more plank. Last one of the day. So grab the opposite elbows with opposite wrists. Take the hands, interlace. Press firmly through those forearms. Turn your toes under. Lift up to your knees or lift up all the way. Next modification if you want, a little more intensity. Take one leg, bring it up, and back. So just a little bit of a kick, and back. The less of your body that's on the mat, the more your abdominals have to work to support you. So anytime you lift the leg up, that's adding more work for our abs. So just four more breaths. See how deep you can make these breaths, how long you can make these breaths. Really challenge yourself. And last breath, big inhale. And bring it all the way down. From here, we're just going to press back into a nice shell stretch or child's pose. and bring it up for our very last exercise. So tabletop position, knees in line with the hips, 
hands in line with the shoulders. I want you to send your right leg back behind you and take your left arm and bring it out in front of you. And we're just going to hold this position and try to see how long you can make your body. Now you don't want to do this in sag, so pull those abs in and press back. Reach to the fingers, reach to the toes. Maybe if you want more challenge, you can bring the hand down, come into a plank, and try it from here. Maybe. Maybe not. And then bring the leg down, and we're going to switch sides. So you've got your left leg back, you've got your right arm forward, and we're holding. So there's always room for challenge in any exercise you could do. You can always make it more advanced, you can always make it easier. So listen to your body and make it work for you today. So let's try it if you want. Lift that knee up. Maybe you're holding here. Maybe you're lifting up. And bring it down. All right, you made it. Nice work.